name is Mirigai Manuel. I just want to from TikTok. Behind me is a 5KV installation which we did for the fan, one of our fan here on TikTok. We decided to do this 5KV and I'm going to show you everything we did here, which is powering this two bedroom apartment. So first here we have a 5KV you have for inverter hybrid. This inverter comes with an inbuilt charge controller of 80 amps and also have the ability of you know uh, charging through the grid. So here we have our EVS automatic voltage system which is responsible for protecting the inverter from high voltage and from under voltage coming from the grid. The grid is the Nepal light. So here initially this was not part of the design. We came to include this later because we noticed his gen is his gen cannot power this uh, uh, 5kV inverter. So we did this uh, external breaker so that he can put it off whenever he wants to use his generator. So. Here we have our SPD which is protecting the system from uh, uh, thunder or from high voltage. And here we have our DC breaker, a 60 amp DC breaker which you can trip your change of panels off from the inverter. So here we have a manual changeover. This manual changeover is in case maybe the inverter develops a fault and uh, the person wants to use his chain or want to use another source of light, he can easily take this up as long as this is permanently down he will continue using the light from the inverter. And here are the battery bank. Each of these battery is 220 amp, 12 volt tubular. We connected this in series, generating 48 volts, and our total uh, power in kilowatt is 10.5 kilowatts. Here we have an equalizer because most of the time if you install using four batteries or two batteries, you have to install an equalizer so that it will balance the batteries. The work of an equalizer is to balance the voltage, balance the voltage of this and this and this and the four batteries together. That's why if you can see from our equalizer, each battery is at 12.4. That is the work of an equalizer. It has balanced the four batteries and they are charging at the same rate, also will be discharging at the same rate. This TV you are seeing right here is working on the inverter, so also this fan. And you can see this AC right now it's not on but once in a while this AC will be powered by the inverter it's once in a while and outside here the main reason for this inverter setup initially this initially he was using a 1 kV system so he decided to upgrade to 5 kV and the main reason or the main purpose for this uh, upgrade is for this deep freezer that's the main reason for this upgrade so this deep freezer will be permanently on on this 5 kV system Outside here also we have a boho which will be working on the inverter and that also will be once in a while. So this is what the 5 kV can power. The fridge, TVs, fans and possibly one AC. But make sure your, your AC doesn't exceed 1 horsepower or 1.5 horsepower. 